Hey, Joy, I heard Sally's throwing this huge party tonight. Should we go to the party or should we go to Tizbaha? Tizbaha for sure. Why do you want to go to Tizbaha so bad? Well, remember what happened last time? Before we start, hi, my name is Josephine and here I have with me is... Joy, and we are from St. Mark Coptic Orthodox Church in D.C. So, Joy, can you remind me what happened again? Oh, yeah, you asked me if we should go to the party and I remember wondering if we should go and I even remember praying so much about it and I even remembered coming across this verse that says that the righteous should choose his friends carefully for the way of the wicked leads them astray. But I remember I still really wanted to go. So I stopped by your house, picked you up, and we still ended up going to the party. Yeah, and it was really, really, really bad. I remember we felt really bad and worried that we weren't going to go and that we wasn't going to be... It's okay. I felt really, I remember we felt very um, worried and there wasn't a comforting feeling. feeling in our heart, so say yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that we weren't very comfortable and we didn't really have this feeling that we should go. We felt like we were doing really like a wrong thing. Oh yeah, and I remember finding you at the party and then telling you that we both didn't feel comfortable. So we went to church instead, right? Oh yeah! And then I remember walking into church and immediately feeling such a peaceful feeling and hearing all of the songs and feeling one with God. What about you? Oh, it was amazing. I loved it. I really felt like I had this connection with all of the saints and God. You're right. You know, this story really reminds me of the story of Daniel, Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Really? I don't really remember that. Can you explain? Yeah, sure. So basically, all of them were fasting, and they were trying to convince the king that their God was the true God. But the king had asked them to eat foods that they were not supposed to eat, and they refused. In Daniel's chapter 1 through 8, it even discussed that Daniel felt in his heart that he did not want to defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he may not defile himself. They stood firm in what they believed in and said no. And do you know what happened at the end? No. Tell me. They were the ones chosen to represent the city, even though that they didn't necessarily want to follow what the king had ordered in the beginning. But their bodies were the most firm and fit according to the rest of the population. That's an amazing story, and I really realize how that can relate to our, our scenario because Daniel stood firm in what he believed in. And when, they, and when they weren't supposed to eat the foods that the king told them that they wanted to eat, they still didn't eat it. Just like us. Basically, when we went to the party, we realized that it wasn't a good environment and we didn't do the right decision, so we stayed strong and went to Tezbeha. To conclude, this reminds us of the decisions that we encounter every single day. One can be to glorify God's name, and one can be to fulfill our own needs. Joy, can you remind me of the verse that you had read earlier today? Of course. The righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray. Proverbs 12, 26. Oh, yeah. The righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray. Proverbs 12, 26. Can we read that together, Joy? Of course. The, the righteous, righteous should, should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the, the wicked leads them astray. Proverbs 12:26. Thank you. Bye. Bye.